In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for sulfur. So sulfur has several major isotopes, and we'll talk about those a little bit later. Let's fill the things in that we do know, just looking at the periodic table here. So we do know that sulfur has an atomic number of 16, and that atomic number is the same for all of the isotopes. That's what defines sulfur as atomic number of 16, which means the atomic number that's equal to the number of protons. So for each isotope, we have 16 protons. When we look at the electrons and we look at the periodic table, this S here, that's a neutral element. We can tell because if it wasn't neutral, so here's our neutral sulfur. If it wasn't neutral, it would have a charge like this two minus here. This is an ion. This is not neutral. It has a two minus charge. But just S, that's neutral. Like all of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So we have just S and the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So for each one of these, we have 16 electrons. And what's left are the neutrons. Neutrons are what's different in isotopes. So each one of these isotopes of sulfur will have 16 protons, but the neutrons will be different. And protons plus neutrons, that gives us a mass number. So the mass number will be different too. When we're given a table like this and we don't have the neutrons or the mass number, often you'll be given one and you can figure the other out. But if you're not given anything, look at the periodic table, look at the average atomic mass. We'll round that to a whole number. So we'll say the mass number is 32. So now, because the mass number is 32 and that equals protons, we said that was 16 plus we don't know the neutrons. That's what we want to know. Something plus 16 equals 32. 16 plus 16, that equals 32. This is called sulfur-32. It's named after its mass number. So if we took a block of sulfur, about 95% of the atoms would have the mass number of 32 with 16 neutrons. This is the most common isotope, and you can see that makes sense because if we take an average of all the mass numbers, that'll give us the average atomic mass. Since this is close to 32, we know this is the most predominant isotope of sulfur. All right, let's take a look at the other ones. We also have sulfur 33. It's a little bit heavier. There's about 1% of sulfur is this isotope. Protons plus neutrons gives us the mass number. So 16 plus something gives us 33. 16 plus 17, that'll give us 33. This is called sulfur 33. We also have sulfur with 34, and actually about 4% of sulfur atoms are this isotope. And they have 16 plus something gives us 34, 16 plus 18. So about 4% is sulfur 34. So those are the major isotopes. If you took an average of these based on their abundance, how much there was of each, you'd get 32.07. So this is the average based on abundance but we could also write notation for the specific isotopes, and this is called nuclear notation. So for sulfur 32, we write the mass number, sulfur 32, and it has 16 protons. For sulfur 33, we write sulfur 33. It also has 16 protons because it's sulfur. And then sulfur 34, that has, sulfur 34 has 16 protons. So these are very specific for each type of isotope, where this is an average of all of these isotopes based on their abundance. You can't really look at the periodic table and tell how many isotopes there will be for an element. You can take a look and see most of them will be around 32, but you don't really know the total number. You can determine that experimentally, though. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for sulfur. Thanks for watching.